all started. They knew. They get train up to the beach. Train was quite The train ride was only about an hour and six minutes. With a few stops on the way. One of those stops. We'll stop. Flimp. What's up, guys? I'm Daniel Cheddar, and this is official vlog. As you might be able to see, we're on a train right now. Heading to Amtrak. I thought we were arriving at was Amtrak, but we ended up arriving at the city of Flimp. We're gonna perform some devious licks. No licks were performed because of this train ride. So the conductor actually knows me, so he said he's gonna need my help backing up the train into a parking spot. I've done it before, I'm gonna have to do it again. The conductor walks up to me and he goes, I know you. I said, sick, I. Right? So, and then he keeps on talking to me and he's like, I'm gonna need your help parking this big old hick in a parking spot. And little did I know, he actually didn't know me and this was just a total prank. Turns out the con conductor actually didn't know me so I'm not gonna be able to park this. And to top it all off, he caught me watching porn. Another problem with that was that he caught me watching porn. You know what he did? He asked for all my electronic devices, including my phone and everything else. And you know what I did? I gave it all to him. So as we're driving through, and we're driving from our station, place A, to point B, I see all these fellas waving at the train. Yeah, every time, like, I look out the window in the train, I always see people looking at me, everyone on their city cars, on the city streets, you know. I'm waving back. And little did I know, once again, that they aren't just specifically waving to me. They're waving to the train as a whole. They don't care about me. They couldn't even see me, actually. They're just waving at this train at the whole, as a whole. Mostly waving at the captain and or the conductor. Hate that guy. I got scammed. My buddy Cormac didn't come, and I regret him coming. So another bust was my bo buddy Cormac said he actually couldn't come. And you know what I regret? Is that he ended up showing up. You actually got that on camera? I want to take you surfing with that. Dude, Zach, have you ever worn like one of these nice boogie boards? Like one of these right here? Uh, take off my shoe! Oh, you molded your foot? Yeah, that's what it does. Right? Well, yeah, like mine are molded in money. I was looking, gang bitching in my new flop side of spot. My electric buck and my Goodwill hat that I had on. Something I cannot wrap my head around is people think they can climb or whatever they want to climb on and they don't get in trouble somehow. People are climbing on cliffs, people are climbing all these rocks, people are disturbing the seals on Seal Sanctuary, people are climbing into the tide pools and stepping on the sea pussies and all this stuff and killing everything. Hey, get down here right now! Fuck you, I'm going up. Hey! Get your ass down! <laughs> so what do you think happened to me? I was stranded down on the cliff. On the below the cliff while everyone's climbing up the cliff. And I'm yelling at them to get down because they seem to disturb the plants. The animals, the little insects, you know, all these rocks and they're ruining everything and darn. Dead 
Red Seal. No, I actually became an adventurous. That was my few days up in Purple Rio. I'm certified, and I was actually just yelling at people a few days ago. Get down off the cliff, and blah, blah, blah. And guys, I'm an adventurous. I climb rocks, mountains, touch the plants. Very peculiar about the dead pup, as in a dead pup seal, maybe. You know, something bad about this finding was I got this, like, taint smell, like, going throughout me, and I was like, what is this? And little did I know this big whiff of breath is leading me to another dead seal. And I end up walking down the beach and finding this huge, massive, 400 pound dead seal in the sink. And I know, once again, this caterpillar was poisonous, venomous, deadly, and now I am critical. All right, so this, so we got a caterpillar here on the adventure, so I'm exploring around here, and we got a big ass dead seal. As there's also a baby dead seal down there. Darn, it's environment, bro. It's the ecosystem. It's horrible. This one looks like a shark took there. Well, that was about it for my adventures. Yeah. Pretty rough. This one's been here for a long time, definitely. Thank you for coming along. I'm Nathaniel Cheddar. Carpenter!